Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So a bit short on mods at the moment coming through, not worth looking at, but we've got this one in front of us. A little Sigma conventional biler here. So we've not got many in the game. We had the New Holland one on the mod hub which disappeared. I've still got that somewhere but the wear is all up the spout on that one it does needs a bit of work shall we say but this one looks a nice little boiler nice crystal clear decals on there detailing on the slip clutch at the front there on the flywheel there's details in the pickup with the auger there the lights on it we've got a draw bar on the back so if we want to pull one of the auto load trailers we could I haven't actually got any installed to try at the moment <coughs> Shall I actually come out and do that? It just looks a nice bio with some nice details. So I've got another one up in the field on a slightly newer tractor, but uh, we've got the Fiat down here. There's one small glitch for this bio that doesn't actually affect it working. It only needs 20 horsepower, so we don't need anything too big. Absolutely no hoses, ropes, or anything going up the cab. No lighting cable, which is small irritation, shall we say? Let's just have a look at the lights on here. We have rear lights, front lights on there, and the No lights on there. Both indicators, work as they should do. Now for the small glitch, if you unfold the bailer, you can see the drawbar moves across but the bailer does not. However, if you just press start, the bailer leaps across. So you've got the plunger working there but it doesn't quite stay fully attached. It sort of works though. A pack of things I should say. Walker works, pick up all the tights in there and works fine. There no great issues, detailing in there with the P2 spinning. No guard over the fly with HSC would love that one. The two full top there is animated. This is one of the gears in there. So there's some nice animation on there. It doesn't quite um, remain where it should do at all times. It's an improvement over some of the bailers we've seen. If you go to fold up again, however, it does the same trick. If you just drop it and reattach it, it swings across. So, minor irritation, but you can work around it. So let's have a quick sprint across to the other one. So I thought that's still worth reviewing even with those small issues with it. So I've got one on the New Holland up here. I just want to test it to make sure the thing actually worked before I tried to record with it. See we've got these straw barrels in there. All feeds in nicely. These swaths are from the Tucano, I believe. And a 30 foot header on it. Swath for no trouble, it's not missing any bits. We've got a nice custom sound to the bowler. Where these missing bits is my uh, driving. This one. It's a 
works, that's the main thing. Sure, how it will work with a helper, but uh, let's have a look, shall we? Bailers won't normally work with helpers, this one's no exception. Worth a look. Nice if we could have that feature added in game, to be fair. Bailer works, that's the main thing, and let's believe me some nice little bailers. I think, uh, well, we'll see what they are. It's about 200 Caesar, but it looks a lot. We've got straw going in the pickups animation there. Not being too bad, because I'm going to have a little detail on the bales in a moment. Yes, they're shrunk down quadrants. Too many strings on them. Let's have a look on these bales. Several strings on there. And there's usually only two on these. So that's a nice little mod. As you can see, it all works. There's nothing wrong with that one. Because I won't be able to change the textures too easily with these, with them being different sizes to normal. It'll take a little bit more doing. The bales do sort of levitate there for a few moments. But what we'll do is. I'll come out of game and I'll put in some auto load trailers. What could be towed by the bailer and we'll have a try with him. Okay, so I've <clears throat> added in the auto load trailer that I was using on the Oakfield multiplayer. So I'll put that on this bailer now if we can. Find out if the rear hitch works. That's just a very ornamental. Um, shin timer, I think is the best name for it. If you had that in the bone, just to hear the back there. It's hooked on. Now, let's see what happens here. Work mode is on. Let's see what happens. We could have a problem here that doesn't seem to uh, hitch on very well. Find out though. I'm going to take these bales somehow, which is a bit of a shame. I'll take the ones from the New Holland bale, but not from this one. It looks like 
so what? Let's try to... That's in English that has helped me at the moment. There we go, it is working. Files have to be pushed almost into the trailer to get it to work. So the hitch does work, but it's not very smooth how it works behind there. So you can actually pull a trailer behind it, but it's not exactly um, very realistic, shall we say. But if there had been a shoot on this, that would actually work quite nicely. you can actually use it like this. If you want realism it's probably not the best way to be doing that. But it's a nice little bow. It's got some details on what some of the more well known um, modding cruise bailers have not got. I'm not going to mention any names there. issues can we say with that. So you can it will pick these bales up as we can see. But, uh, not the best. Let's have a look at it in the shop anyway. Let's get that saved. So it solves the under bailing technology. doesn't look very good there with various purple lines on it and everything that could do with a better image. So we've got the Sipma Z224-1, £2,750, pounds, works at 12k, needs 20 horsepower, does 200 litre bales. No options on it, but a nice little baler nonetheless. Okay, so it's got one or two little issues what could need fixing with the drawbar area and some alignment issues with the animation there, but it works. It's nice to have another little conventional bowler in game. But that's where I could be leaving this video. So for now, I will say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.